It's a city of half a million people that boast some of the most beautiful buildings in all of Belgium. And now there are two Antwerps. There's this one that in the fourth century was founded in the heart of Flanders. But now it also has a virtual twin, which was finished just this year. So it's basically the city you have digitized. And we want to see how that city lives and do a sort of what ifs. Those what ifs include seeing how traffic, noise and pollution levels can all be changed in the real Antwerp through policy decisions. The digital Antwerp was created by programmers at a partially government funded research firm called IMAC. Historical and real time data is inputted into the virtual city. Say, for example, people in a neighborhood complain about too much traffic noise. In the digital Twin City, you can put up a sound wall and see how much noise would be reduced and how much relief you could offer homeowners. IMEX says in just the next few months, Antwerp City officials should be using the program. Everything which influences our daily lives is taken into account. So my feeling is this makes making politics more important in the future than it is today. It's more easy since you know in advance a prediction of what will happen on the position you take. Also helping politicians is what's called the Antwerp Smart Zone. In this two and a half square kilometer area of the city, reams of data are collected. Data is even collected here in the busy medieval heart of Antwerp. The data is taken in by sensors and sold on top of some of the centuries old buildings. Data is then digested to see when it'd be best to turn city lights on and off and if more people walk or bike to get around. It's also where IMAC tests new technology. And they, um, they first track how many people have safely crossed the street. Soon these screens will be placed at some crosswalks with quick is on them. The goal is to see if that entices people to stop jaywalking. IMEC envisions its innovations will one day be used in cities all across Europe. They don't want this to be big brother surveillance tools. They want this to further the, the well-being of their citizens. It's possible more cities will eventually have digital twins. So policy can play out first in the virtual world before it's enforced in the real world. Kevin Ozbeck, TRT World, Antwerp.